Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I want to show you a demonstration of a patient who has a veto posture. Now, we've seen this on occasion where somebody comes in and there's a separation between the toes. It usually happens between the second and the third toe. And uh, why does somebody get this? Well, underneath the foot is something called the plantar plate. And that plantar plate is a fibrous tissue that helps to hold the metatarsal heads here kind of together. It helps to give this joint some support and some cushioning on the bottom also. And so what happens is you can have a trauma to this area and damage the plantar plate, which then spreads and allows the toes to kind of spread like in this position that you see right here, all right? They will come back together if you push them passively, but they naturally fall into this opened up position because this tissue is torn. The other thing that will happen is that this joint may drop a little bit. And if you take a look at the top of the foot, you'll notice that we have some hammer toes here. Um, and part of that is because of that drop. So what we want to do is, if she had a significant amount of pain here, uh, surgery could be indicated, an injection could be helpful, but really um, she is a very active individual, does not have a, a tremendous amount of pain here, um, but has this splaying of her foot. So the uh, other thing that we look at is, you know, why does it continue to do this? Well. If you take a look at the bottom of her Crocs here, you'll see that she, you can rest her leg right there, you can see where she wears through these like crazy. She wears through all of her socks on the left side, right in that area, and, a, and so she's putting a tremendous amount of pressure here because of a tight calf muscle and because this foot is splaying and she's losing this natural arch that should be like this which is now like this. So she's putting all of her pressure here. So with that being said, um, one of the ways she can keep these toes a little bit closer together is to use something like a, uh, a toe separator that keeps all of the toes equally separated. I'm not a big advocate of just putting one toe separator here because um, that's gonna push the others out of the way. So if you can keep them equally separated, um, that will keep the toes more like this type of position, which is a little bit better. The other thing I wanna do is I wanna put her into an orthotic because she does have some collapsing of her arch and I want to get these toes to straighten out a little bit better with a metatarsal pad. So if you can see what happens when I put pressure here, the toes now drop a little bit, they're not so tight. And then I'm also gonna lift this arch up a little bit so that the toes fall like that and they don't splay so much. So the way we are going to do that is going to be with an orthotic like this where we did a custom impression and we're putting this metatarsal pad in there which is thicker in the middle and thinner on both sides to reestablish this arch right there. So this is a classic example of a plantar plate tear um, right here and um, the classic presentation of what we call VTOES. Um, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, give us a like and uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.